Woe is us trying to keep my personal focus. Unfortunately, although it seems in my life, uh, things are going from bad to worse, right? Uh, maybe that's a good uh, epithet on a tombstone. Uh, things went from bad to worse. Um, but I think that a lot of people feel that way, especially with the chaotic political situation in the United States and unfortunately around the world. So what do I see as hopeful for at least me trying to stay focused? Uh, two things, number one in Florida where I'm dealing with a law that could wreck my business, I need to stay focused on uh, who sponsored the law, who profited, who may have done payoffs. It's very clear to me now that thanks to Laura Loomer, who says that the governor DeSantis uh, paid a bribe to get the law changed, uh, pay, paying the House Speaker Paul Renner a million dollars to change the resign to run law, that, that there was doubtless a lot of payoffs. And um, I need to stay focused on the laws that upset me and who may be indictable um, or not uh, for payoffs to get those laws passed. Um, I have a suspect in one case, but in the, in the worst case uh, uh, is where my research needs to be. The worst case is where uh, they said um, that uh, developers and cities can get attorney's fees if a citizen like you and I, I mean, this is a real true uh, horrendous threat to democracy. Uh, it says citizen participation in local government is in name only because if you use the ultimate uh, method of trying to keep your government clean, you'd be punished with attorney's fees if you fail to win. Uh, so it's like uh, participate in your local government at your peril. Um, so I need to focus on who may have done payoffs to get this law passed. Um, I don't want to dwell there. I move on to another ray of hope, which is Sheldon Whitehouse. Um, and it's funny because um, I want to be reading about what he's trying to accomplish. He's the one who's exposed how our whole government system has been corrupted, namely that the U.S. Supreme Court, uh, even in, and especially in the Citizens United decision, which, which said corporations have constitutional rights, which is just absurd, um, that's enabled this whole uh, mega donor thing of, you know, gutting democracy, right? So he, he's our brightest hope. And it's funny because when I try to focus on him, uh, it, it makes me so, feel so weak. I don't know. I'm not sure if I can articulate it well, um, that, that it's almost uh, overwhelming the, the powerlessness you feel. Uh, let me go a step further and then I'll end this. Um, is it not true for many of us that um, we've seen, we've been disappointed by our heroes? Um, and so, so let, me, let me just hold out a, a, a thought here and we can all laugh. Um, Sheldon Whitehouse for president. Uh, I think that uh, he is the one who can actually make our world return democracy to uh, the United States. We, we, he's, he's found how the Citizens United decision was corruptly obtained by the Federalist Society, bribing all these U.S. Supreme Court justices. He is the one with the answers. Why not? Sheldon Whitehouse for president. Maybe I'll start a movement 
Let's let's all of us start a movement. Sheldon Whitehouse for president. And then, uh, and, and this will be my last comment. Forgive me. Um, have we not all been uh, greatly disillusioned by our heroes in recent times? Um, I'm going to pick the two people who have disillusioned me, um, people I've once believed in and now no longer do. So really the greatest one for me, the biggest disappointment is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Um, and I, I'm going to be publishing this on YouTube, so I'm not going to go down that whole detailed aspect of it, but um, I actually wrote in his name for president in 2020. Um, and yet now, uh, I think something has happened to him. And uh, so he is truly, uh, it's, it's, I, I, I wouldn't vote for him, you know, if, if it was the last act on earth, you know, because something's happened to him. Um, then, and, and that, that, that's a crushing disappointment. I don't know what happened there. But anyways, and then Ron DeSantis even, um, I was grateful to the way he handled uh, putting business over uh, the pandemic. And um, I probably shouldn't say this, but I talked too much. He, he, I actually supported him for president at, during a period of time. And now he is like uh, satanic, right? This whole Florida legislature, legislature band of laws that, that uh, he never told people about, got passed, claims he had a mandate. He didn't have a mandate. He never told people he was going to do it. He, he wouldn't have won the, the gubernatorial race if he had been honest with people. And so he's a freak out for me. Um, and it makes you wonder, can you believe in anyone? So, but I'm, I, I, hope springs eternal in the human breast. Uh, what was that poem, remember? Man never is, but always to be blessed. Alexander Pope. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. And so it is. Sheldon Whitehouse for president.